Hey guys, Wonder North here, and this is episode 13 of the Let's Play series I'm doing for the game Airport CEO. Last time, we added another medium stand for medium flights, and we also, we look, not in loans, right over here. We are upgrading baggage handling service. It costs us $250,000 takes 20 hours to do we're already 52 percent complete and then this episode we will be creating a baggage service so just like in real international airports you will put your baggage on a conveyor belt and it will fly through the airport i'm thinking over here and then a truck will come pick them up and deliver to the trip to the uh, planes so we're just going to wait for that upgrade to be completed. For now, let's look through the flight planner, make sure the flights are all ready to go. We're on Monday. Well, Monday's now done, actually. So we're on Tuesday. Tuesday's good. Wednesday's good. Thursday. Thursday is not good. We will fill up the flights, and hopefully we can start working on our baggage conveyor belts. Let's fill it in some, I love reoccurring flights because you're good for a couple days. That looks like that's it for medium flights. We do have a, or sorry, small flights. Here's a medium flight, but we are good for that right now. A four day reoccurring flight from Maple Airlines. Thank you. Here's a three day reoccurring. That's a four, but that's a medium flight. So we don't need that at the moment. Any more small ones? Doesn't look like it. How about Skyfly? A six day reoccurring. Very nice. Put that there. Ooh, a five day. Skyfly is coming up with some reoccurring flights. And let's just throw some singles in there. Why not? Kind of clear up their board. And how about Stripe? Stripe. You got a five day, very nice. And not only it's a five day, it's $3,800 a flight, nice. Okay, we should be good there. Here comes another large flight. Ooh, this, this is big. The Boeing 757-200. 112 people were on it, 144 are going on. Wow. We need some more like seating and such. Uh, but things are looking okay. Security, well, no one's coming in. There's a couple people waiting here. You will need a bathroom here because a lot of people come in and wait for their flights and they're complaining no bathrooms. I totally get that, not blaming them. But uh, that, that's going to be later on. So I do know, I'll wait for that upgrade to be done. I do know I want the bags... I'm going to go in this area here. So, because I will need... It's going to be a baggage bay. I'm probably going to need two of them. So what I'm thinking is, these are two baggage bags here. Baggage bay, sorry. I might leave room just in case I need three, but we'll have two. I could even expand this southwards. But uh, yeah, for sure we'll have two to start off. And that will man these flights here. I, mean, I don't care about the private planes. They can they can figure out themselves. The, these ones will be serviced by here. And later, like I'm talking way later, when we do start building the airport here and have like two more medium stands, I wouldn't mind having baggage bags, baggage bay, sorry, it's a tongue twister. Well, like somewhere over here, of course I'll have to move the runway northwards and whatnot, but if I put it there, that's, it'll go underground, you'll see later. The conveyor system will be underground, go to these baggage bay areas, then the vehicles, I'll have another garage here for the vehicles. This is all really future, but I'm just talking while I'm waiting for that upgrade to be done. 
Yeah, and then the vehicles don't have to go that far for these ones. But because the vehicles are going to be coming from this building right now, not too bad for these flights. But once we get on that side, it uh, might be a little bit too far. And wow! Look at that. Oh my goodness. We need another bus stop. That's what we need right now. Quite bad. Uh, yeah, bus stop. What is this? Oh, airside shuttle. We need a bus stop. Let's do it like that. Maybe even one more. And then again, I could put it on the other side. Like so. Let's do that. I'll make a crosswalk right in the middle. I put one here too. Yeah, that works. I'm just gonna plop one there for the future. And then let's make a sidewalk. I'll put like this. Band that like that. That looks alright. That could have like I spruce it up a bit. Some trees? How's that look? That uh... um Oh, we should do this. Uh, and we have. Hmm. I don't really want potted plants out there. I'm gonna keep it natural. Let's see how that looks. That going. That looks alright. Like a little. Oh, we can put lights outside. Yeah, because it is dark out here. Uh, what kind of lights? Large size, high quality. One there. There. Maybe like that. Uh, here. That looks alright. Maybe just that for now. So we'll make it the same. Just a couple lights. We'll, we'll make more later. I just want to spruce it up a little bit. This is pitch black when I don't have this arrow light on there. There we go. We got some light. Side looks almost done. At least that'll handle a lot more people than before instead of one huge line. Employee can't find a staff room. What? Right here. Right there, the staff room. I need a lot more lights later, but uh, you know, that's still a big improvement from where it was before. Now that, soon that upgrade's done by now, it's gotta be. Gotta uh, procurements. Oh, still three hours and 11 minutes left. All right. Now let's put some more lights. Hot seating. Decorations. Uh, they have the one-sided. You like that? As if it's kind of like over the entrance. Do 
to do some doubles. There. Uh, er, ooh, that should have been a... There. Hang on. Ooh, no, I don't want to delete that. I just want to delete the light bulb. Did that delete the whole thing? It will. I don't want to delete that now. Can I cancel? There we go. Okay, that worked. Um, I want to do what I did on the entrances. So one pointing that way, and one pointing that way. I know that's not the right one, but that's fine. That looks better. I don't mind that. A lot more areas for people to leave on so there's not a weird lineup. Ooh, I need a lot more seating for people waiting, apparently. I do. I think there is a. There it is. Is that the biggest uh, bus shelter? High quality. I guess so. Put it in. Uh, should I have it here? There's one, two, one, two. Oh no, it did delete. Ah, uh, okay, I'll have to replace that. There's some bus stops, or bus shelters, sorry. That, and we'll do a couple more. Around the that. Okay. Have to rebuild that car stop. Then I can't rebuild it. Oh, because the light. Huh. Now the light posts are in the way? Ay, ay, ay. Alright. Fine. Delete my brand new light posts. Car stop. Head. Car stop. There we go. Oh, there they are. The. Nice little waiting areas. Okay. These are looking good. The you know, flight planner's doing, we are still in that day. Yeah, we're still good. Well, that looks neat. I love the maple flights. A new product has arrived. We have the baggage service. So let's get back into the tutorial here. Unlock baggage handling service. We did that. Build a separate terminal area and place down a baggage bay. So I'm gonna actually do two right off the bat. Connect the baggage bay to service road. Okay. So this part is done, they did do it. They do seem to be trapping it. I'll get them to delete that. Uh, there it is. Baggage Bay. Now, yeah, I have to delete that wall. Should I, learning the furthest ones south like that's too far for these ones the, the vehicle will have to drive really far so why don't i do one like maybe here one above it and the one above it will just like be maybe only for the large flights because these small stands like the flights that go to it only hold like up to 12 maybe 15 people that's it while these as we saw last episode there was one with over 100 people so yeah, I'm thinking, how many spots is this? 
fill up. Uh, too bad I can't. I need to delete one more wall. Let's see. I can pop that, plop that there. That'll go down to this square. So maybe I'll leave, uh, should I? Should I leave this open for future expansion or should I just build one here once we need, once we need to expand this? I could just build a baggage area here. Maybe I'll do that. Leave this just for these one, these stands. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So there's one. There is two plop down. Get to expand the service road. Do it a little bit past it. There we go. And just to make it look a little nice, let's expand the walls. Just like that. Speed it up a little bit. There comes all the parts we need to build all that. Service road's almost already done. Nice. Boom, two baggage bays. All right, what is next on that list? Connect the baggage bay, we did that. Build conveyor belts from a check-in desk to a baggage bay. Build a baggage claim area. Okay, so build the conveyor belts. Now I know there's different speeds of conveyor belts. Um, We might have to unlock the faster ones. Let's see. I want that. Economy pyramid. That is unlocked. Aha. Nerd baggage scanner. Uh. Where is the, unless it's in here? Cause I know there's a faster one. You'll unlock that for now. But what's wrong with our little store here? Oh, just waiting for the activated. Staff on route, okay. I guess the staff were switching shifts or something. Okay, well, I guess we can we don't have the fast bag uh, conveyor belt yet, so unfortunately we'll have to like delete it later and oh that's gonna screw up things, but I guess we gotta use what we have. Overground. I'm gonna have the conveyor belt systems. So like that. And then underground um, I need this bigger you know what I will have to expand it a little bit I'm gonna build walls hoping that'll give us enough for room oops walls uh, A little like that. I'm gonna get them to delete that wall. Speed her up. Here they come, building the new wall and above ground conveyor belt system. There we go. Uh, 
I believe these have to be in a secure zone. Make sure that's all secure. Like that. All right, the new wall's there. That gives us more room to work with here. Air belt system. Underground. So this will go underground. Now, how do we want to do this? That. Um. Overground. Hey, okay, this is overground. I do need that tilt one before I can complete this. We're going to build that for now. Wow, we have a lot of people coming in with these larger flights. Tons of people. I will have to wait for that other upgrade. Darn. Because I'm thinking all the luggage is going to come down here on the same conveyor belt. I need that. I need the proper ones that get thrown on this one. These, this, the, this one here will go to our medium flights, these two. And then this smaller one should be enough for these five stands. One, two, three, four, five. That, that should be enough. So those are done, but I've got to wait for that upgrade so I can split the luggage the way I want him. Let's just fill these medium flights up. ELM has quite a bit for us. Well, two. But they're both reoccurring. Uh, ooh, maple. Four day reoccurring. There we go. And fill in these small flights. Okay. I fly. Three day. Reoccurring. I'll throw one single in here. Sure. Stripe. Ooh, a five day recurring. Very nice. I think they have a. Ah, oh, two. Oops. Place the two there, and they do have a six day. Nice. That there. Single one. Why not? And one more single one. So just need three, three more slots filled up. And one more, those are all medium flights. Skylink, ooh, a six day, nice. That's good. How's that upgrade doing, is it done yet? Um, it is. Might as well do the scanner too. We have money. I'll get that going. Okay, now will this work? There's a conveyor system. We see we we have the high speed now. What a waste of money! I should just waited for that upgrade. I want the high speed. Not remove. I'm not removing the check and desk. We do that. The underground. Uh, yeah. And you know what? Leave the underground too. Get them to do that now. Let's try this again. 
Uh, okay, wait for that dem demolition to be done. There we go. So, high quality overground. Like this for now. And then we'll do high quality underground. Like this. Right? Yes. And we want tilt. Like this work? Open. That will go there. Overground. So a pop up overground. The ones in there will hopefully go to the proper uh, baggage bay. Baggage bay. Uh, one small. Just so I know which one does. Oh no, this one will be the small. Baggage bay. It'll be for the small stands. And then this. Baggage bay. Oh, medium one. Med one. All right, let's see how this looks. The bags go on the conveyor belt, get shot underneath ground for a tiny bit, plop up above ground. I think you gotta use that tilt so it can push bags left or down, depending on where they need to go. I'm hoping that's how it works. I am guessing at this point. And then underground, We'll think it's just go underneath that. I don't know if this will work. Will it work? That's a question. I hope we can properly properly answer. And it's gonna go underground all the way to around there. This one. Sure. Some around there like that. Then we need a baggage claim area. Might need to expand the terminal a bit. Something like that. Just so we have room. I know we have a lot of room, but we may need more security in the future. I want to leave room for that expansion. Yeah, will that work? I might need one of these tilt, tilt conveyors again. Let's see. There goes a big flight. Come on, construction. Hopefully that will work. And they'll be building that. And we can have the baggage claim. Should, like, should I just have it all to the right and leave this room for potential security expansion? That'll probably be the smart thing to do. Because if I put it, the baggage claim here, it won't leave us, like, we'll only have one more Room for one more security. The scanner's here. That's about it. So I kind of, I do one on this side. So I'm thinking, why don't we have a wall? Um, like that. 
Just for now. Make baggage claim area. Like that big enough? Maybe I should um, do the conveyor belts first. Ooh, there's a bunch of scanners we unlocked. So high quality underground. I'm gonna go like this. And like, hang on, let's do the top one first. And then it'll come overground. Kind of go in a circle. Like, I mean, usually they're pretty big. Something like that. You don't really need high speed, though. Right? You kind of want it slow. So maybe, uh, you know what? I'll delete that. You don't want to, you want to try to grab your bags. You don't want high speed. Right? You just want regular. Uh, so overground would be something like this. So that's that. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that? Does that work? And the baggage claim area will be 18 by 10. Oops. Well, that's fine. Okay. Then we'll do... How much room do I want between them? Three? Now oh, that's good. I already forget how big this was. I ten. Like that big? That work? And three in between? Or do I want just two? Maybe I'll just do two. Something like that. It was 10, right? Yes, okay. That'll be... And we'll keep it high speed underground. Like... This. And then regular overground like that and around there so there's our baggage claim area I could complete the wall but right now that's fine we'll We'll keep it like that. I just wanted this wall to have like, that's where the luggage comes out of, I think. Oh, so maybe it w I do need that, this thing. Okay. Um, yeah. Looks like I need a tilt tray. So underground. Um, delete that. Tell them to hurry up. Here they come. Can we move this security exit? Maybe in the right here. 
They're not like coming right in and bumping into this. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. I'm gonna get them working on that. Maybe expand it a bit, like so. And I'll delete this wall. And add some walls. I'll go there. Oh, also need to delete this. And let them work on that. Alright, so there's... So I deleted that. I want high speed overground. They're gonna come like that. That's gonna go there. And then I'll get... I'm assuming I need another tilt tray there. Okay, so they're almost done that. I'm gonna put the secure exit. I'm gonna change the spot for that. Uh, where is it? Security, secure exit. Oh yeah, gotta put a secure zone. Let's do that. Fill that up. Secure exit. That. Put a wall. And delete that one. I'm gonna wait until they built this before I delete it, but now people are gonna be angry, but that is fine. There's a wall, you guys are stuck in there. Yes, I know, chaos. That's fine. There it is, now the, the exit's there, stop, stop complaining. <laughs> there, so that's better. All right, that's looking good. Next. On the checklist, connect the check-in desk to the baggage bay. Connect stand to baggage bay. Connect baggage claim area to baggage bay. Uh, connect baggage bay. You'll be for that one. You'll be for that one. You there, this one, and I need the stance. So connect, baggage, can't connect while there's a flight. Really? I can't connect any of them. All right, well, we've been playing for quite a while. I'll have to end it here, guys, and we will finish the baggage claim area and all that. Ooh, planes leaving i gotta pause it yeah we'll finish the baggage claim area and all the conveyor belts and hopefully it works because i don't know if this these things will work properly i'm assuming that's how you do it i could be completely wrong but that's fine we will figure it out so thanks again guys for watching if you like this episode please give me a like and if you want to continue watching this let's play series you don't want to miss any episodes uh, throw me a subscription just to make sure you don't miss anything uh, that is it for me guys Thank you one more time again for watching, and I will see you next time.